This is my enduro bike. It certainly isn't the best or the nicest mountain bike I could buy. Or is it? Well, in the next few videos we will be upgrading it using our knowledge of DIY and electronics to make it a true dream mountain bike that will make people stop on the trail just to look at it. The first upgrade on my list is a removable electric motor to help me speeding through the boring climbs before having fun on the way down the trails. To power the bike I decided to use a skateboard motor since they are cheap, lightweight and plenty powerful. I will use a a VESC to control it and I will use a electric tool battery to supply the energy needed. While I'm building the motor, I want to thank PCBWay for providing this awesome CNC machined aluminum parts. PCBWay is really an awesome company, providing various on-demand manufacturing services like 3D printing, CNC machining, PCB fabrication and more. Check them out at the link below. Now that the motor is complete, we can attach it to the bike and go for a test ride. So I've come here to the top of the mountain uh, near my house and uh, I was able to get up here in uh, about half the time compared to my other uh, mountain bike. The motor is working uh, very nicely and uh, I was able to do about uh, 500 meters of uh, climb with uh, one battery. It just about was able to go all the way up here to control the motor I used, uh, I built this uh, thumb lever which uh, when pressed uh, spins the motor. The motor is powered with a Dewalt uh, 5 ampere hours uh, battery and uh, it has a 1 to 4.5 reduction over here. Then there's uh, this uh, free wheel, as you can see it spins one way but not the other, which uh, transfers the motion to this uh, pinion right behind the front sprocket of the mountain bike. These two are welded together and uh, there's this uh, tensioner with a spring which keeps the, the chain tight. So I'm super happy with this motor going uphill. Let's see how it compares on the way down. To test this motor I've prepared a 20 km loop that should bring it to its limits. More specifically we will test range, climbing and descending to see how capable it really is and how it fares in the various situations it's designed to face. So, the loop starts with this uh, quite steep climb, actually. The motor, I've uh, limited it to 300 watts and it's going fantastically. I'm able to climb uh, this road about twice the speed as I normally do without the motor and I'm super happy about that. This is uh, probably the steepest climb I've ever ridden on any mountain bike. It's very steep <laughs> at about, uh, I think, about 20 degrees. This is a fair number, it's very steep, I can barely keep the front wheel down but there's no problem going up here with the motor on. It's just too powerful to be stopped. Keep in mind that uh, with my other e-bike I wasn't even able to go up here. That bike is unlocked to 500 watts. <sighs> yeah, no problem. I've reached the top of the climb and uh, I did about 7.5 kilometers and I had to change the battery only once at about 5 kilometers. As you can see, doing 7.5 kilometers, this battery has already quite a bit of charge in it and I'm very happy about that because that uh, will mean that uh, I will be able to do about 10 to 12 kilometers of climb with two batteries. I'm very happy about that. It's now time to descend. Let's have a, a bit of fun. While descending, I immediately noticed that the bike felt less playful around the corners and while jumping. 
but when the trail got rocky and rough I felt the suspensions working noticeably better, absorbing every hit better than before, because of the added weight of the motor, and uh, I actually quite like that thing. Overall I'm very pleased with how this motor turned out, and I definitely think that it was one of the best things I could have done to this bike. It completely transformed it in a good way while costing less than 300 euros. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next upgrade on my list. In the meantime, consider leaving a like and maybe a comment guessing what my next upgrade will be.